I'm going to be presenting my elevation and plan, or plan and elevation. Um, as far as the plan, I think Okay, so um, regarding my plan, um, the house is here and then there's a deck. And um, I kind of took some inspiration from some of like the uh, historical homes down in Fredericksburg. So I put down like a brick, like walk up, walk down, um, leading to the, the lake. Mm -hmm. um, and then around the walk up, I put in a flower bed, which would go on like both sides of the walk up, like around the house. And then on the, I guess the left side, facing north, um, I put in two, two patches of garden beds, so so maybe like 12 beds, and that might be a little excessive for the property, um, so forgive me. And then like in front of or behind the beds, I put in a shed slash greenhouse. Um, and when I was doing this, I was thinking about myself because I really like to garden, and it would be nice to have like a shed greenhouse in one. Um, and so like, I was also thinking about when I had dogs, how we position them. So I wasn't for sure if like the dog run was like an actual run or a house. Um, so I stuck them going like away from where all the work would take place. So the gardening so it would be toward like the back of the yard, but going toward the water. Um, then on the bottom, the south side of the yard, um, I put in like this little naked statue thing, um, Cupid, <laughs> uh, <laughs> with like a stone like walk around. I wasn't sure if I wanted the stone walk around to lead to, um, to the house. Um, I kind of thought it might have been a little excessive, so I just left that off. Um, so I have a weeping willow here, and then a rock garden with a cement walkway leading back into the house. And that's my plan. Uh, regarding my elevation, I kept it simple because I wasn't for sure what I was doing. Um, so my house, my tree, the deck, and then the walkway. Great job. Very nice job. Yay. Um, I, I appreciate that you did the border. The border could be darker, but we didn't even ask for a border, but it's looking good. And your title block, you're starting to cheat on your title block, but at least you have it. And um, on the next, and you have everything that's supposed to be on there. But the next time, kind of design it more like a title block, and you could turn something this way. Some some of the type can be larger. Um, did you note on here your cut? You did. Yeah. And you can go all the way through, or you can just show like to here and to there. Okay. And when we're checking them, and is this in the same scale yet? So we'll just we'll just double check that that this all lines up with that. Um, from a distance, this is really dark right here. Is that just because you have the fence there? Uh, yes. Because yeah, your property line. I thought maybe for some reason your property line is just darker on that side. So you've got your north arrow. You've got your title block. Um, everything looks great. These are really dark. Those again. It's. The shadow to show like a walk up with like a small wall. Oh, okay. I got it from out the reaper. Yeah, I, I saw those. And you know, I think some of the shadows that they're showing in the textbook are a little too dark. They should maybe be dark gray instead of black because they're like jumping out larger than a lot of other things on it. But that's a beautiful drawing, and so and your section is as well. 